Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting this original piece that I have titled Peace for Ukraine. Just like everybody else, I pray for peace. I pray that this senseless attack on the Ukraine is going to stop. And I pray that the Ukraine and its people will be free and victorious at last. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to sketch the flowers, the dove, and how to paint this composition. If you would like to see how I created this hopeful painting for peace, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm painting with the Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. I'm going to leave a link up here so you can see the review that I've done for this acrylic paint. The colors that I'm using today are Titanium White, Ultramarine Blue, Dioxazin Purple or Purple, Burnt Amber or Dark Brown, Burnt Sienna or Light Brown, Hooker's Green or Dark Green, Light Olive Green, Cadmium Yellow Deep, and Cadmium Red Light or Orange. Of course, you can use any similar paint and colors that you have at home. Today I'm working on 12 by 12 canvas, which I coated last night with gesso and a drop of ultramarine blue. I did this because I like to start with some color on the canvas and I do it the night before. That way I'm not lifting this layer of paint. This is nice and dry now. I'm going to start by sketching the background somewhat and it doesn't matter the size of your canvas this will work with any size canvas so I'm using white chalk and I'm going to draw a line right in the center here and again in the middle here so the canvas is now divided in four equal parts now my flowers are going to start in the middle of that quadrant and they're going to come down to approximately the middle of this quadrant. So I'm going to draw a line. It's almost like a triangular shape at the bottom here. This is where the sunflowers will be. And I'm going to paint the, the sky I want the sky dark enough that I'll be able to see the dove up here and the sunflowers will really pop against the sky. For the sky, I'm using purple, ultramarine blue, and titanium white. I have, I have the three colors on my palette and I'm going to start by mixing the darkest color first. I have purple and blue. I want a nice purpley blue. I think the sunflowers will look very pretty against a sky that has blue and purple. And I'm going to add a drop of white. I'm going to start with this color. I'm also going to use a large filbert brush a filbert brush has rounded edges and this will leave less ridges as I'm painting the sky. And I'm going to start with the darkest color at the top and I'm going to do a gradient of color coming down, make it lighter and lighter as I come down. Using the same three colors, And I'm doing this side of the canvas as well and the top part. And I'm going to start adding gradually more white 
to my base color just to blend these two colors and I'm going to try to have a soft gradient of color here and I'm going over this um, the chalk that I marked in here I want to come down with a gradient until about until about there and see how easy it is with a nice large filbert brush and I'm going back and adding more of the dark at the top and I'm going to keep working until I am happy with the gradient from half of canvas I want it to start to be much lighter the colors will blend if you have lots of paint on the brush it's more difficult to blend when you when you don't use a lot of paint it is slightly darker at the bottom but that's okay because here it's going to be all green once I'm happy I'm going to allow all this to dry before I continue okay the paint is pretty dry and now I'm going to sketch with the chalk again with the white chalk I'm going to divide the canvas in the center and this way again in the middle so again I have four equal quadrants and I'm going to do the same from about half of this quadrant and about half of this one I'm going to draw a wavy line here this is where the flowers are going to be and in this quadrant up here is going to be the dove and I'm going to draw a circle because this is going to contain the dove make the dove not super large like that the nice thing of sketching with chalk is that you get rid of anything you don't like so the dove is going to be up here okay and the sunflowers at the bottom I'm going to do a bit of a background down here and for that I'm going to use this very large porous sponge if you don't have a sponge like this you can use just a round brush and dab the color I'm going to link below the link to Amazon for these sponges okay I have here the dark green the light olive green and yellow and with these colors I'm going to do the background of the flowers and the sponge is damp I'm going to pick up the light green first and I'm dabbing it so there's not excess on the sponge and I'm going to apply the color following this line see how effortless this is and the lighter green creates the effect of distance I'm going to go and uh, apply the green at the bottom as well I'm going to pick up yellow and I'm going to add yellow in some areas like this and now I'm going to pick up some of the dark green I'm going to add some of that as well more so at the front and uh, some of the lighter too okay I'm going to allow this area to dry before I continue and on the meantime let's sketch the dove 
Now, I want to convey that the dove is flying towards the garden of sunflowers. So the body of the dove is going to be here. And the wings are going to be here. Okay, so I'm dividing the circle in the center. And I'm drawing this line about a third on the top third. The body of the dove is going to be in, in here. I'm cutting this round top off and I'm going to do a rectangle. Like this. And I'm going to make it thinner at the top and wider at the bottom to convey the body. I'm going to delete some of these lines. So this is the body of the dove. And I'm going to divide the body into three equal parts, approximately. Okay. This is going to be the head. It's just round, a rounded head. The beak is going to be there. And this is the belly. The belly of the dove. The feet are going to be here. And the tail is going to come out like that. And then the wing is going to come up here and out and in. Like that. And this wing is going to be a little bit larger. than this one. Okay, it doesn't look that great at the moment. But we're going to go over it and hopefully it will make more sense. And then you can see the proportion of the dove with the rest. If it's too large, too big, you can always do it again. And I want to make sure mine is coming this way so I can adjust the body a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use a liner brush to sketch the dove with, with paint. If you're not comfortable sketching the dove with chalk, you can do it on paper and then trace it on your canvas. I'm mixing white titanium white with a drop of brown. I'm going to use this color to trace the dove and I'm adding lots of water in here to make it nice and fluid. I'm going to start by doing the head. And the beak is going to be here. The eyes are going to be in there. You don't have to add a lot of detail, really. We just want to convey that this is a dove. We're going to make the belly a little bit wider. And this comes in a point. The feet are going to be here. We don't even have to do the feet, but I might do them. So I'm going to put them in there. And then the tail comes out like this. And there's feathers coming this way. And then this opens up 
like a beautiful fan. Like that. And I'm going to add the wings. The wing comes from the shoulder, like that. And then it breaks out. And again, it comes straight from the shoulder. It's almost like a finger in there. And then it breaks down. As I'm doing the, the tracing, I'm correcting it a bit. And uh, same here. Okay, and the wings come like that. It's just going to give us an idea when we're painting them. And on the tail as well. It comes towards towards the feet, comes towards the inside, like that. Okay, we're gonna allow this to dry. Once this has dry a bit, we can start sketching the sunflowers. I want the sunflowers to be different sizes. We're going to do one here. They're all going to be facing the dove. I'm going to do ovals. These are going to represent the center of the sunflower. And then the stem. You can do another one in here. I'm going to do a nice large one in here. And I'm doing a bit of um, a cup and the stem. There's going to be another one in here, another oval and the cup and the stem. You can place the sunflowers anywhere you want and as many as you want. There's going to be some looking up as well. Maybe a small one in here. Now, some flowers have very large leaves. I'm going to draw some, some of the leaves. They are large and they have a triangular shape like this. I want them with movement as if they're blowing in the wind. And some can be more droopy if you like. This is giving me an idea how I'm going to fill the canvas. Doesn't have to be exactly like this once I'm done. So we have an idea of the location of the sunflowers and where the dove is coming from. I'm going to use a round brush now to create the centers of the sunflowers. And I'm going to use the same brown that I used to sketch the dove, a dark brown. And I'm just going to dot here the ovals. Painting the center as an oval 
conveys the effect of the direction the flower is pointing at. If they are round, that means the flower is facing us. I want to convey the effect that they're facing the dove. So I'm just dotting, creating the oval shape. This is going to be a nice large one because it is larger, it's closer to us, so it looks larger than the ones further away. I'm going to move now to a flat brush. This one is a number 12, but it's not very large. I'm going to use this to do the stems and the leaves. And I'm going to be using blending gel. This is going to help my acrylic paint blend the way I want to. If you don't have blending gel, you could use floating medium or Liquitex matte medium. All these acrylic mediums work very similar by extending the drying and blendability of the acrylic paint. And with the flat brush, I'm going to pick up some blending gel and coat the bristles and remove the excess at the same time. I'm going to pick up the green color, the dark green on one corner and the light olive green on another. And I'm going to blend these colors like so. So I have the dark on one corner and the light on the other. I'm going to start doing the stems with the light at the top. And I'm just pressing the brush and following and following the drawing I did with chalk all the way down. And this stem is coming from, from the center of the oval. And if they're looking too pale, you can add more green. More of the dark green, because we want to see this stems. Okay, while this dries, let's work on the dove a little bit more. And I'm going to use a small filbert brush. You can also use a small round brush, whatever you prefer. And I'm mixing white with brown, create a light brown. And I'm also going to put a drop of purple. Create this nice purpley brown. And I'm going to paint this part of the bird, of the dove. I think I'm going to move to the round brush. It's going to do a better job. And I'm adding part of the, the wing and the body here. And these wings, just the first layer on the tail, and this part of the wing, the top, the top part of the wing. Like that. I have white, straight white. And I'm going to add white at the top of the head, the back of the neck. And a little 
little bit up here and a little tad up here and some white on this side of the belly here I'm going to blend a bit just by moving the, the paint around because the paint is still wet I can move it around and I want to create a um, feathery effect uh, with my movement and I'm going to I'm going to keep adding white as I feel I need it a clean brush I'm blending I'm now going to use a small angle brush you can use a small flat brush just to create this nice effect on the wings and again I'm going to pick up the blending gel coat the brush remove the excess and I'm going to have white at the toe of the brush and some of this brown purpley at the heel and I'm going to blend these two colors like that I'm going to start creating the wings I'm going to press the white here and slide it up like that If it starts to feel too dry, just add more of your acrylic medium. And I'm following the lines that I had sketched. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm pressing the white at the tip and sliding in and I'm going to blend with a clean brush I don't want to see the lines to define just at the top I'm blending a little bit the wing at the at the bottom I'm going to do the same And then there's a second set of wings right in here on the tail, like that. And I'm going to blend a little bit with a clean brush. And with the same brush, I'm going to touch up a bit the head With a clean brush I'm blending a little bit I'm going over some of the white just to emphasize the color okay we're gonna let that dry and we're going to go back to the sunflowers now I'm going back to the same round brush and I'm going to pick up some burnt sienna is this nice warm 
orangey brown. I'm going to put a dot of yellow just to lighten the color up even more. And with this color, I'm going to add some highlight to the center. I'm leaving the center dark and lightening up around, around the center like this. And again, I'm just dabbing. I want to create that effect of the center of the sunflower. I'm dabbing around and still leaving some darkness there. I'm going to go back to the same flat brush. I'm going to start creating petals on the sunflowers. And again, I'm dabbing on my blending gel. I'm going to pick up the bright yellow on one end and white on the other. And I'm going to blend these two colors, keeping them on the same side of the brush, the light on one side, the yellow on the other. And I'm also going to add just a touch of this cadmium red light. It's like a vermilion color, a very bright orange. Okay, I'm going to start doing the petals. And this, these ones are smaller centers, so the petals will be a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to press with the orange yellow towards the center. And effortlessly, I'm going to start creating the, the petals. And I'm always loading my brush with paint. And the petals are coming in like so because of the way the flower is facing. Okay, I'm going to let this one dry. We can add more. And I'm going to do them all the same. The smaller ovals, you do the petals smaller. to continue doing the petals the same way. Just press the brush and come to the toe. Very easy. Some can be pointing out like that. This is a larger flower. Because this one is a larger, I'm going to do the petals larger. Just by sliding the brush longer. While the petals dry, I'm going to add more petals, but while this one's dry, let's do some of the leaves. And I have the dark green on one corner and the light green on the other. And I'm using still the same small brush. 
and I'm going to add a, a drop of white in there to give the leaves more dimension. I'm going to start with the light at the top like this. And then I'm going to flip the brush and do the light on the center and the stem like that. Okay, let's do let's do this one. I'm going to do the light part at the top and I'm just pressing the brush, creating the the leaf. You can leave it like that if you like, or you can do the other side like this. And then we're doing the stem like that. The smaller leaves like this one, you can just press the brush with the green at the bottom. to do all the leaves this way. Some smaller leaves in here. Okay, I'm going to finish these leaves off camera because they're all going to be the same. But let's finish the dove first. And I have burnt sienna, that warm orange, on my fine liner brush. And I'm going to do the feet here. You don't have to do that, but I'm just going to finish it a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to make it really simple like that. And with the same color, I'm going to do a little bit of the beak in here. And then the eye. Very subtle. And I'm going to add dark brown in here to convey the, the eye. I'm going to give you a close-up. And I'm going to finish the leaves off camera. And I will be right back with you. Okay, my friends, I finished the leaves. And um, I took a little break, so all of this is dry. So I'm going to pick up a dry brush. And I'm going to sweep away all the shock marks that I used to sketch this composition because I don't need them anymore and it's going to give me a um, better idea of what I need to do it's not going to distract me make sure when you do this the paint is completely dry otherwise it can become very messy. Okay, all the chalk marks are gone. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a second layer of petals to the flowers. And the brush is loaded the same way with white at one corner and yellow and orange at the other. I'm just going to make the flowers a bit fuller. And the, the second layer, I'm going to put them in between the others so that the flower looks nice and full. Because this is the second layer, there's some white in there this um second layer of petals 
are popping even more than the first. We want the flowers to look very nice and full. While the petals dry, I'm going to pick up a small round brush with the same dark brown that I did the centers. I'm going to touch up the edges here that got a little bit um, messed up with the petals. I'm just going to touch up the edges a little bit, just like that, to define uh, the center again. And I'm just dabbing again to create the effect of the center of the flower. I now have some of the cadmium red light, which is the dark orange, like a vermilion color. And I can intensify a little bit the petals if I want to. Just um, closer to the center like this and down here just flicking the brush to create a nice effect and i'm following the shape of the petal as well this also intensifies the illusion that the flower is facing a certain way Okay, with the flat brush loaded the same way as I did the leaves, dark green on one side and the lighter green and white on the other, I'm going to do the green petals and I'm pressing with the dark green towards the stem. And I, they're going to be very similar to this row of petals. I'm just pressing and flicking like this. It's just a small detail, but it, it will make a big difference. The sunflowers will look much nicer and realistic this way. I'm going to finish all of them this way. Now that this part is uh, completely dry, the background, we can add a light wash of yellow and maybe some orange to the sky. And I'm going to use a medium filbert brush. And I'm going to pick up some of the blending gel with a touch of yellow. I want to make it very, very light. This will make the color very light and I'm going to see if I like it. And I can add some orange, make it a nice light orangey yellow. And I can add some in the horizon here. Now this is completely optional, of course. This incorporates the um, colors into the sky, which I think is pretty. I'm just gonna blend it with a clean brush so it's very, very subtle. Pero 
to do this when uh, the purples are dry otherwise yellow or orange and purple will look brown i like that and the last thing i'm going to do which of course is optional as well is with a round brush i'm going to splatter some yellow paint just around the this area on the flowers okay my friends our painting piece for ukraine is finished i'm going to give you a close-up so you can see the details <laughs> enjoy this video. I hope you learn something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.